Well, we all know how my Hermes like to give us a run around on how we make contact with them. Whether it's to find out where our parcel is, to report damage, to report a lost item, to start a compensation claim. Well, I know exactly how you can actually speak to somebody on the phone and hopefully get your problems resolved. Hey, welcome back to Cooking the Haydens. I'm Carboo Chris, and I'm a full-time reseller, predominantly operating on eBay. And um, yeah, that's my full-time job. That's how I earn a living. And um, when I sell something, I normally have to post it out to somebody. And when I post that item out, I generally use my Hermes as my postage company. Remember, remember a while back, I made a video on how to contact Hermes when you've got a problem. Well, like I said at the start, Hermes love to give us the runaround. They change their processes on a, what seems to be a regular basis without telling anybody. Um, one minute you've got to use the bot, then you can ring up and then you can tweet them and then you can go on Instagram. You know, you don't know if you're coming or going. and. Um, when I put that video out several months ago, I put in a phone number which went through to somebody eventually so that you could speak to a real person and explain your problem, get it resolved, get a claim started is most of the time what we have to do. Um, but that process changed as it normally does with Hermes and loads of you commented on the last video. I mean, like it was my fault that it changed. That's not my fault. At the time it worked, you know, don't shoot the messenger. But I thought, you know what, it's high time that we made a little update video because yes, they changed the process. And yes, I know how, as of now, as of February the 16th, 2022, this system, this way of contacting them on the phone works. I've done it twice today. You can still use the same number to get hold of my Hermes. And that number is 0330 808 5456. Okay, that's the same number. And here's the important instructions. Listen very carefully. I shall say this only once. I beg your pardon. <laughs> Ring the number. That's the first thing. Go to track an item. Now don't track. This is the weird thing. The item that you want to talk about, the parcel, don't, don't track that item. This sounds stupid, but don't do it. It will give you a dead end. Track an item that's been successfully delivered. Just pick one off your list. Yeah? Track that item. At the end of the recording, it will give you several options. Choose the option that says, talk to somebody. Yeah, there's an option that will tell you to talk to somebody. Use that option. Then when you get through to that person, give them the actual tracking number that you've got an issue with. Not the one that got delivered, obviously. We know that got delivered. The actual item now, this will be a different tracking number. Give them that one and you can talk through your problems. You can get a claim started. You can get an investigation started. You can find out what went wrong. You can, whatever your issue is. And that is how you get through. It's dead easy. Now is an important point to note in all of this. If you are the recipient of the said parcel, you will not be able to resolve your problems. If your item's not been delivered, I'm sorry, but it won't resolve. What you guys have to do is speak to the person who is sending it. It's their responsibility to get in contact with Hermes and resolve the problem and chase up your parcel. If you are the recipient, you cannot resolve it because the contract that parcel contract, the delivery contract, is with the sender 
and Hermes, not you as the recipient. That's really important to remember. If you've got a problem and you didn't send it, get in touch with the sender. So that's it, guys. I hope that helps you. It helped me a lot today. Twice I rang up this morning and I got through to somebody. So it's working as of now. Um, drop us a comment. Um, try and keep it clean. We all have opinions about different courier companies. Should they use Royal Mail? Should they use Hermes? Should they use UPS? Should they use FedEx? Should I hand deliver it? Should I get a pigeon and attach it to the back of it? They're all as good or as bad as each other, in my humble opinion, having tried many different ways of sending stuff. I hope this has helped ultimately, and I hope this is a good update from the last video. Take care, everybody. See you soon. Happy selling.